Hi, this is Danny Lauderdale, Area Specialized Agent with North Carolina Cooperative Extension. The red-headed flea beetle, Sustina frontalis, is an important pest of container ornamental nursery crops in the southeastern United States. They feed on many woody and herbaceous species such as Itea, Hydrangea paniculata, Hollies, Budlia, crepe myrtle, and many more. Adult feeding damage often occurs throughout the growing season resulting in lost sales due to ugly holes in tender new growth. Adult flea beetles are shiny black with a red head and are one tenth to one quarter of an inch long. This insect overwinters as eggs deposited in nursery containers by previous year's adults. As part of a good integrated pest management program, scouting for larvae can be an important way to get on top of these pesky insects. The first generation larvae hatch and begin feeding on roots of host plants around 220 to 480 growing degree days based on 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Indicator plants that may be flowering at this time are black locust, Robinia pseudoacacia, and Chinese fringe tree, Cyananthus retusus. To scout for red-headed flea beetle larvae, remove plant root balls from their containers and rotate the root ball quickly to look for larvae. Larvae are creamy white in color with some red streaking and are less than half an inch long. They look very similar to small roots. They do not like light and will quickly move inside the root ball when you expose it. I have found it is best to scout when container substrate is moist since the larvae will move inside with the moisture as the substrate dries during the day. Scouting for larvae in the spring can help to determine hot spots of insect activity before foliar damage is done. This will help determine if larval treatments are necessary and which locations to target the adult insecticide applications when adult activity begins, usually around 590 to 785 growing degree days based on 50 degrees Fahrenheit, or when southern magnolia, magnolia grandiflora, and winterberry, Ilex peticillata, are in full bloom. By midsummer, you will likely find all three stages, adults, larvae, and pupae, in container nurseries because of generation overlap. For more information, contact me by visiting the Meet Our Staff page at wilson.ces.ncsu.edu or contact your local extension office or entomology specialist.